Hey guys, so this is a little tutorial on the more advanced nuances of box launching in Halo 3. I picked the level Floodgate because it has a shit ton of launches. This first launch is just an example of how high you can aim over top of the box and still get a launch. Boom. It's way better to overshoot your aim and aim high than it is to aim too low. If you want, for some reason, less power in your launches, you can crouch and aim over the box and get a slightly less powerful launch. I don't know why you'd want to. Here's an example of what happens if you aim too low. You're not going to get much of a launch at all, if any. That sucked. For this next one, notice what happens when I aim my left hip into the box. Now I'm aiming over the right side of the box with my left hip touching it. Oh, beautiful. Perfect launch. The opposite is not true, however. If I aim my right hip into the box, you'll notice I won't get any launch at all. Okay, let's try something new. This next box launch uses the weapon crate. The weapon crate, you'll notice, is substantially higher than the boxes we were launching off before. So in order for us to get a proper launch off it, we have to get our hammer over the top of the box by the time it swings to cause the box to flip around. As a result, for every crate, you're gonna have to, or every weapon crate, you have to jump a little bit. You can see it here. Jump and then swing to get your hammer over the crate. What happens if the crate wiggles a little bit like this? If it wobbles, you run the risk of getting an overlaunch. Too much power. Whoops. That's not fun. Let's try and take the angle thing we talked about earlier with the smaller box and apply it to the weapon crate. If we put our left hip into the weapon crate, even just slightly, we should get a perfect launch. Left hip in, aiming over the box. Let's hope for the best. That worked pretty well. I usually find that the launches off weapon crates with your left hip in are lower traje trajectories then launches aiming straight forwards on the weapon crate. Okay, let's move on to the next section of the level with the box launch, which is the launch after the DC launch. So the important thing to remember about this box launch is this large box is actually just four of the tiny boxes. So the same rules apply. If you look too, high, too low, you're not going to get the launch that you want. It's going to be nothing at all. So pretend this is a small box, and I'm looking too low. In theory, I should get a poor launch. And that's exactly what happens. So let's look too high, overshoot our look, and try and see if we can get a good launch off this box as it breaks. We're going to run around the corner, jump up, hammer it once, melee it to angle the box, look high, and go for it. And we go really fast. But you notice the angle was off slightly there because I hit that uh, cart. So let's try it one more time. And this time, we're going to angle it correctly. So I'm going to jump over, melee it, or hit it. Try and melee it to really change the angle. Look up. That's better. Also very fast. OK, now comes my favorite launch. This is the launch that culminates everything. This is the launch across the gap. You'll notice when I try and set this up, all three of my VR shots hit it, which is actually too much. I've angled it by too much at this point. You want to maybe hit it with just two of the VR shots to get it just right. Um, the, sh the angle at which you shoot it also depends, uh, will also determine how much the box moves from your shot. Uh, I'm just lining it up here with the trip mine because I want to try and hit the trip mine on this launch. So I think I've got it. Of course, in an IL run, you wouldn't actually line it up. You just shoot it and hope for the best, hope you got it. But we're going to practice it, so we're going to get a checkpoint. And so uh, here, I'm going to go in, I'm going to set it up because I've already done a couple tries and the angle's just off by a tiny bit. 
I'm going to make sure when I do my box launch, I'm going to look high to get a good launch. There you go. So that was a lot of power, but I jumped a little too early on the first landing and jumped over the trip mine. So let's try it again. Uh, this time, uh, we're going to, <laughs> to try and not jump over the trip mine. We're going to walk in, set it up, angle it a little bit, and I actually make a mistake this look closely, my right hip is in towards the box, so my launch won't be very powerful at all. Such is life. Okay, let's try the last one. This will be good. We're going to make sure that we angle the box right. We're going to look high. We're going to keep our left hip into the box. Look up. Left hip is in. This should be a good launch. Wonderful. Super fast. All the way across the chasm. Nice and easy does it. Either way, so I hope that helps. Uh, those are some of the nuances of box launching. Uh, thanks!